Hi guys, I just wanted to go ahead and review uh, this Amp RX backline 1200 watt. Um, it's like a voltage reducer, I guess we'd call it. So what this is for is if you have tube amps or other old equipment that was made to run on lower voltages, um, like in the 40s and 50s, where the lines were typically less than 120, um, you would use this unit to lower the voltage to a less uh, stressful level for your old transformers. So um, my line voltage uh, comes out at about 123 to 124 volts. Um, typically old equipment is made to run on volts up to 120 um, or slightly less like 117 or 110, 115. So what you can do is you can reduce um, your line voltage from uh, let's say 126 as is the highest unit down 10% to about uh, 115 uh, or 114 or whatever. So uh, since mine comes out at about 124 I put it at the 124 setting and then went over here and reduced it about 6%, which is about 8 volts. So it takes me down to about 116, which is a more uh, comfortable level for my old tube amps. Now, most as this is rack mount, this, this unit is... Uh, is uh, the same concept as the brown box um, but has three outlets instead of one so uh, and it's made i mean this is really made for guitar gear since it's rack mount but nonetheless it works fine for um stereo gear from the early 60s or mono from the 40s or you know whatever decade going up uh, but everything basically into the 70s at solid state. There's really no reason to, to use one of these. Uh, this unit was 549. And uh, <laughs> it's a lot of money. And, uh, you know, uh, to be honest, I opened it. And uh, what's inside of it is not $549 worth. Um, frankly, I'm a little, uh, I'm a little sour about this whole purchase. But uh, you know, the unit does look nice. The, the, the knobs are metal and it is rack mount. It's got a nice paint job on it and lettering and all that. But uh, it's kind of lazy. Um, honestly, the, the, the uh, builder, this is probably built by one person. Um, he just took and drilled the holes in the, in the paneling and then never cleaned up his work. So it looks like it was painted as um, just a single, like it was already painted and then the holes were drilled after that. So instead of drilling the holes, sanding down the burrs, and then screwing it all together, he just painted it and then drilled the holes. So if you unscrew it, there's a bunch of uh, um, burrs and it's just unacceptable given how much this thing cost. Uh, secondly, the uh, packaging this came with, it was just wrapped in bubble wrap and in some generic box, which is fine. It got here safely. But uh, given how much I spent on this, this uh, should have been, it should have like foam and normal packaging that you could use and put inside of a road case or whatever you want. Um, so inside of it, uh, sitting about uh, right here is a, a toroidal transform with basically taps coming off of it to reduce the voltage. Uh, there's some, um, there's uh, three outlets, one, two, three, in the back here. And uh, then it's all connected and then into this display and these knobs, um, which are all, they're all hard, hard wired, which is nice as you turn them. They got a nice click to them. But unfortunately, uh, one of these knobs, I think it's this one, is not tight, wasn't tightened properly, so it spins, which is why I had to open it. And uh, same with this. So this part's nice, but once again, not $549 worth. Uh, the transformer has the make on it, um, made in China. So probably a $40 part. 
and uh, you know, 10 to $15 of parts uh, with the rest of the items. So given, you know, the cost, I mean, there's probably $100 worth of things, of, of, of parts here. So honestly, this thing should cost no more than 250 or $300, but it's 549. So, uh, I mean, there's not a lot of options out there. So you're kind of forced to either make your own or buy something like this. Um, after looking inside of this, I think that uh, really making something homemade might be a better alternative. And, and frankly, you know, I'd love to have a unit that is not the brown box because it, it looks like a guitar pedal and, and I'd rather have something that I can put on a shelf, but I don't need it to be 19 inches wide and be rack mount. And frankly, there's a lot of empty space in here that's, this is not, does not need to be this large. Um, <clears throat> so it works as advertised. I have nothing plugged into it right now, but I'll go ahead and flip it on so you can see the display. It's really bright. Well, let's see if I can get a clue. So right now it's saying 108 volts, which I don't understand how that's possible. Okay, so that's the, the reduced voltage. Um, let's do bypass. So 124 volts coming out, and then if we reduce that 10%, that's 12.4 volts. So clearly something is not accurate because that is 16 volts. So, Okay, so I cut the video off because I realized I made a mistake. When I, when I tested the knobs and I was showing you how uh, they sound and how they spin, I've switched it to 126. So the rest of the video after that uh, kind of went off in a tangent that I didn't need to go into. So here we are, uh, the line voltage you see is 123, 124, kind of switching back and forth. It's in bypass mode. So now what you'll see is I will switch this and you'll see start to see the reduction. So 3% takes it down 8 volts, which is not quite accurate. 4% only takes it down an additional 1 volt. And then you get a little bit more out of 6. And then 10 takes you down a little more than 10%. But it's within reason. Um, it's a little, I mean, it's not, it's not accurate, but it, it works close enough, I guess. <laughs> so at this level, this sixth level here, I mean, that's 112. So really, honestly, if you just left it right there at four, that would probably be enough reduction. So, you know, once again, I mean, uh, this is kind of the problem with the Chinese transformers. You don't get, you, you don't get the advertised, uh, uh, numbers that you're supposed to be getting because they don't care and there's probably not the exact number of windings there was supposed to be uh, maybe there's the gauge of wiring is not correct there's all kinds of options uh, that for, for reasons why this wouldn't work properly um, I'm not saying this doesn't work properly I'm just saying that the three percent is definitely that's that's a lot that's that's off by you know, the spec is within two volts. And so um, it's, it's, it, it should be within four and a half and it's off by nine. So it's, it's, it should be four and a half and it's reduced the voltage by nine. So that's not within spec and you're not gonna return it over this, but uh, this, is, this thing's not worth five, four, 550 bucks. It just simply isn't. And uh, I, I, I kind of question how many of these things are being sold, and uh, really, I'm sure the, the maker is, is doing fine with the profit, but uh, I can't help but wonder if uh, this actually had a reasonable price, how many of these he'd sell. Possibly this is by design because he can't really make more, because um, it's probably a one or two man operation. But uh, in any case, not a great value. I have not seen one of these reviewed, so I'm glad that I can inform some people about this. I bought this unit with my own money, so um, clearly I'm going to review it the way I want to. 
and try to save some other people from spending this kind of money if they're not okay with uh, Chinese-made transformers and and uh, specs that aren't met. So anyway, um, I review you know a lot of different audio and household items, and uh, if you found this video interesting, go and check out my others and. Feel free to subscribe and like this video if you think that others should see it as well who might be interested. Thanks.